What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Dirk Hamelwood, and in this in this in this video, I'll be covering Chapter Two, Sections Two and Three, Input Devices and Output Devices, respectively. This we will be covering all types of peripherals and other similar devices you can expect to see on the IB exam in the spring. The first input device we'll be covering are keyboards. Keyboards are used to input text into a computer. Most use the standard QWERTY layout. Concept keyboards are made up of keys which are programmed to serve a specific function, often to enter preset combinations, not text. Uh, a familiar scenario for these keyboards are in fast food restaurants, where employees are expected to enter preset combinations of meals. Soft keyboards, also called virtual keyboards, are keyboards electronically displayed on a touchscreen or a stylus-enabled screen, common in PDAs. Pointer devices. The, the most common of these are mice, which are standard pointing devices used on a desktop computer. They typically consist of two buttons and a scroll wheel in the center. Trackballs are large balls that are fixed in place, which, when turned, move the pointer around the screen. They are easy to use for disabled users or when space is limited. Touchpads allow a user to move a pointer via moving their finger across the pad, commonly used in laptops. Touchscreens allow users to input commands by directly touching the screen. Communication devices such as microphones allow sound data to be input through the computer, often used in, VoIP, in VoIP software. Webcams. These are low-resolution video cameras that are commonly used for video conferencing. Digital cameras. Through the use of a USB or FireWire connection, or, insert, or inserting a camera's SD card directly into the specialized port, pictures taken by the camera can be input in, into the computer. Game controllers. Joysticks and game pads are the two most common types of input devices in this category, used for computer gaming. These devices include a variety of buttons and configurations, and can sometimes be customized. More exotic, more exotic devices include steering wheels and pedals for driving games, musical instruments, dance mats, and motion sensors for a variety of other types of different games. Uh, these uh, exist for uh, many, many variety of computer systems as well. Barcode scanners and, medics, um, and magnetic stripe readers. Barcode scanners use lasers to shine light on a label. The thickness of the lines on the label and the space between them identifies a specific product, often used in product checkout uh, or line or um, checkout counters at business establishments. Uh, other establishments, such as banks and credit card manufacturers, use cards with magnetic stripes. These stripes store a small amount of data used to identify a customer or account. Optical recognition. Optical mark recognition software is the use of ref is re the use of reflective light. Reflected light to determine whether or not a mark exists in a box on a piece of paper, used in scantrons and ballot reading in political elections. Magnetic ink character recognition is where specialized technology using ink containing iron particles makes uh, writing magnetic. This is written in a human-readable font, but is also recognized by the computer because of varying concentrations of iron content. Smart cards. These are plastic cards that are very similar to credit cards. But have, a higher, but have a higher storage capacity and an embedded processor. The processor is powered on when inserted into a special smart card reader. The processor controls access to all of the data on the card. This is commonly used in establishments, establishments such as banks because it allows additional security for um, a card uh, where someone could just steal it uh, otherwise um, or steal the card signature. The, the processor controls access to all the data on the card. A scanner is a device that digitizes a piece of paper. A digital image of the page being scanned is stored as a standard image file, such as a JPEG or PNG file. The quality of this is measured in DPI dots per inch. Some scanners come with optical character recognition software to convert text back into a usable form. However, this did not often work with handwriting or um, unique fonts. Radio tagging. Radio tags are used for locating or tracking objects. They emit very high frequency, or VHF, VHF radio signals, which can be picked up and located by a receiver. They are used to track wildlife, such as endangered animals. Radio frequency identification, or RFID, consists of two components. An RFID tag, similar to a barcode, but with more storage space, and an RFID reader, which can locate these tags by tracing their radio signatures over a small to medium distance. Sensors and probes. They are useful for measuring some aspect of the physical world, such as humidity, temperature, light, or pH. 
This data is typically collected as analog or continuous data, which needs to be converted to digital data before it can be processed by a computer, which is done through the use of an analog to digital converter. Sensors are useful in situations where data needs to be collected at regular intervals or in areas too dangerous for human observation, such as volcanoes uh, or other hostile environments, such as deserts. This is our first output device, screens. They are an output device found in almost all computer systems. The CRT monitors, or cathode ray tube monitors, were once standard for desktop computers, but have now been replaced by LCDs, or liquid crystal displays. LCD screens have a native resolution, which refers to the number of dots that make up the screen. However, they, they can scale other resolutions to fit, although not without quality loss. Speakers. Speakers function as an auditory output for computers. They serve entertainment purposes as well as more practical functions as well. In busy environments, when a person must absorb a lot of information at once, some feedback can, can be given auditorily. This is useful in emergency situations where sound is more likely to be noticed in flashing displays, such as in an airliner cockpit where a pilot already has enough uh, visual stimuli to look at, and auditory stimuli might be more noticed for a uh, very specific warning or um, important warning. Printers. Printers produce hard copies of documents and files. The speed of them is measured in ppm or pages per minute. Dot matrix printers were once used to be very common. They work by hitting the paper with a series of small pins to form a shape, which is very efficient, inefficient. They have mostly been replaced by inkjet printers, which squirt ink onto a page through a series of nozzles. Quality is measured in DPI, or dots per inch. Um, inkjet printers are actually being re replaced by laser printers, which are the most uh, new version of the device. These are my references, uh, the actual ITGS book, and my closing and opening song. Uh, and I created this PowerPoint myself, so thank you for watching.